Hi and welcome to my video. Before we start, I just want to let you know that the full version of this course is available. So if you are interested in more retouching techniques, make sure you check the links in the description. And now let's jump to the lesson. Once you finish skin retouching and dutch and burn process, you might notice few things. Sometimes when the face has a lot of scars, when has a lot of pimples, after we finish retouching, there is still a lot of discolorations. As you can see on this face, we have the yellowish color over here. Here we have more of the pink colors. So we end up with the face having few different colors and we must actually correct this at the very end. So the first step of correcting the color is these layers inside the Dutch and Burn that I put. So we can saturate or desaturate. And as you can see, the areas that I was actually dodging and burning sometimes might appear a little bit more saturated. So I can easily correct these areas over here. Of course, not too far because it's not going to look natural. So we might correct a little bit, but to be honest, I find that this is very rare that we get some major discolorations and it always depends on the hue of the color. So if the skin will be very orangey, then this kind of things might appear. In the pale color, it's not really big of a case. So what's the other technique? I like to create an empty layer at the very end. If I have some discolorations, of course, then I'm going to name this color. And on this layer, I'm trying to paint over the areas that I feel the color doesn't match. But first I need to change the blending mode from normal to color. So now I can be sure that whenever I'm going to paint, I'm only going to affect the color of the image. Then I'm working with the brush, soft edged brush. We can go with 100% for the good visibility now. And then I'm going to find the areas that I'm not necessarily happy with the color. So over here, I have some pink color. So I'm trying to get the color that will be more natural somewhere here by pressing alter option. And with this eyedropper, I can pick the color from different spots. Then I'm just covering these red spots and let's have a look before and after. So I'm going to do the same with few other areas. I have some red color over here. So I'm going to get some more natural color and softly paint over here. And we get in a little bit better color. So remember to work smoothly on transitions. Here we have some of the yellowish color. And this way we are able to correct this unpleasant major differences. Of course, I don't claim that the skin needs to be perfect or does not have any major differences. This is why uh, these techniques I'm actually only using with some critical situations. So if I have a lot of red color in some area, then I might correct this. If these discolorations are looking rather natural, there is no reason to be worried. So here a little bit, I could try to correct this a little bit here, mainly with this uh, paler color, we actually desaturate in this a little bit, which is good thing because the red color has a lot of saturation here. So actually with the bright creamy color, when it desaturate, it actually create more natural outcome. Let's have a look. As you can see on this cheek, we had a lot of this red color and now it got a little bit more desaturated with this creamy color. So a little bit under the nose here, we have some red spots that could be retouched even more. Some orangey here. Nose can stay a little red and on the other side of the cheekbone. It looks quite natural here, but we can 
add maybe some soft layer of the other color. So let's have a look. Before and after. So this is two different ways if you need to correct color. Now you know how to do this very easily using an empty layer and a brush.